Let's take you to this developing story now. The Azanian People's Organization, Azapo for short, will be protesting outside the home of alleged racist Belinda Margo today. Margo is alleged to be the person behind a voice note that compares black men to pit bulls and calls for the removal of black women's uteruses. Well, Newsroom Africa's Zikona Chona is in Boxburg tracking this story for us. Uh, Zikona, good morning to you. It's, uh, I'm not sure what to make of these comments coming from uh, this person. And have they acknowledged, first and foremost, that indeed these were their words? Because as I read the Sowetan newspaper this morning, the understanding is that she was in a rented property there and the landlord has actually asked her to leave. Well, social media helped unmask the alleged person behind that voice note that went viral on social media last week. Police also confirming that a 60-year-old female has been arrested in connection with that voice note and uh, was arrested and released on warning. She faces a charge of criminal injury. Uh, the Human Rights Commission has also come out to say that they will also be lodging um, their own investigation into that voice note. So there is a chance that she may appear before the Equality Court. So last week, the voice note went viral on social media on social media calling for the banning and killing of black men in that voice note the utterances are that black men are rapists and the, they commit all kinds of crime they kill and therefore don't deserve to exist and also the calling for the removal of the uteruses of black women so that they don't procreate because they are all the same and they will never change. This has angered a lot of South Africans given the fact that we just had people calling for the ban of pit bulls as you've seen in recent weeks and headlines of pit bulls killing children in particular which is why South Africans many of them have taken to social media and have used any other platform to convey their messages calling for pit bulls to be banned. So this comes at a very sensitive time in the country where we have families that are mourning and grieving losses of children who are killed by pit bulls. So this coming out or this voice note uh, circulating on social media has angered a lot of people. So Azapu coming out here to protest today, they're saying they believe that those utterances are racist and they to them, people who are racist should not live comfortably in South Africa. So they're saying their demonstration is to say to that person who has been arrested in connection with that voice note that they cannot live comfortably. We are just a few meters away from the address that was circulated on social media. There's also concern here from the school, which is opposite that building, because they also don't want their image to be dragged into this protest. For now, these are the people that have come out to say they are calling for a harsh punishment for Belinda Mogo. The protest is expected to take place until about midday today. Zikona, also the talk around what could have induced her into uttering such words about black people and against black people. The understanding is that she says she suffers from diabetes. Now the question is, how does that relate to you harboring such thoughts? Well, the people that have come out here to protest saying they accept no excuse for those utterances. They want a harsh punishment, be it diabetes or whatever the reason may be that we've seen circulating on social media or in interviews. The people here are saying that the utterances in that voice note are disturbing. They should never have been said. And in fact, to them, there should be no excuse for any South African to believe that they should have a platform where they can say things such as black men should be killed, black men should be banned. And comparing 
people to animals. We come from a very dark history in this country when it comes to black people being compared to animals. And they're saying, in 2022, no one should have an excuse to utter such utterances and to say pit bulls should not be banned and rather black men should be banned. They say it's completely unacceptable, which is why they're saying they are here to show and to, to say to the person who has been arrested in connection with this crime that there is no place for the words that were uttered in that person. In South Africa, there should be no place for such utterances under any circumstance, be it a, a, a diabetes, as we've heard on social media, but they're saying absolutely no excuse and they are calling for a harsh punishment for the person who has been arrested in connection with that boy scout. For now, everything is still alleged. The person was unmasked by social media. Police have confirmed that a 60-year-old has been arrested in connection with the voice note. But, but for now, until such time that she does appear in court, and we understand from the police statement that she will be appearing in court in March next year. Zikona Chona, let me thank you very much for the time being. The Human Rights Commission, also the understanding is that they have been in touch uh, with this person, and uh, we hope to hear from them as to what the result or what the content of their discussions have been. And very difficult situation to explain because how does that person explain to a child that I see uh, in that protest where Zekona is? There's a, a young child there and in all probability they came with their parent. How do you explain as an adult to a black child that their father should basically be uh, eliminated from society because they are rapists and then their mothers their mothers should have their uteruses removed because they help to reproduce black men hey, my all right <clears throat> let's uh, move on to this now